everyone, Justina here again, doing a beach one today, or tonight actually, it's night time, I'm sitting in the garage and the inverter is quiet because there's no sun. Um, okay, it's a beach themed one, this is going to be the sand, I don't know if you can see this very faint line here, this is just for me really, this bit here is going to be the water, the top of this, this is painter's tape because this is going to be the sky and I want the horizon line to be really straight so we're just going to go, go ahead and paint the sky get the sky done and then we'll remove the paint, uh, painter's tape I have cerulean blue and I have titanium white I'm going to do it like a um, graduation so this part up here is going to be the darkest and then it's going to go down to the lightest which is going to be almost white now I chose cerulean blue because my ultramarine blue is chunky and well I forgot that my cerulean blue is too so we'll see how we go this is an old canvas that I have um, painted over it's been painted on a couple of times. Oh, gotta love that chunky paint. This is just the base. Now I'm going to start adding the white, the lighter blue. I'm going to make it lighter. <laughs> And go up with the light to just blend it in. It is hot here, so everything's drying really quick. Just getting some gloss glazing liquid because everything. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I'm running out of everything. Everything is drying really quick and it's just getting frustrating. I'm just adding some more white to the cerulean blue down the bottom there to make it brighter because it's further away from you so it's going to be the lightest and the brightest so just put it on your paintbrush and just mix it on the canvas that's the way I do it Now time for the sand. Now this doesn't need to be straight because as you can see I've done the line curly. I'm going to use yellow ochre and titanium white. Um, the bit closest to us is going to be the lightest. So I'm adding, it'll be yellow ochre and titanium white just for this bit. And then we'll move on to yellow ochre. Whoops, I went over the ocean. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Don't go over the ocean. <laughs> just so I don't do that again. Just a guideline, it doesn't matter if I go over it. Thank you. 
I've just been for a walk. I took my pugs. It's night time here. Um, I took my pugs for a walk because it's getting really hot during the day and well, they'd die. They literally would die if I took them for a walk during the day. So I take them about 7 in the evening. It's almost dark. And I still had to end up carrying one of them home because she was just so tired. So this bit here closest to us, lighter, and this bit up here is darker. This whole week I've had non-stop computer issues. I have a, an Apple computer and um, they had an update a couple of weeks ago and ever since I updated it it's been nothing but trouble. I had to completely get rid of iMovie which is what I do my editing in Oops. and um, yeah so I lost everything I'd done I had to reinstall it and it's still not happy. Really regret updating it. I love this chair. Now to add some texture to the sand, I have this old <laughs> It's my favourite fan brush. It's about the only fan brush that I ever use. It is a size 4 French eagle. Anyway, it's really stiff. Not really stiff, but it's stiffer than all the other ones I have. And I just prefer it. So I just want to add it while this um, sand paint is still wet. I'm just tapping it. Trying to keep it straight. But I'm on an angle, so it's very hard to do. See how it's adding texture to it? <laughs> this is my left hand doing it, so just a word of warning, my left hand tends to have a mind of its own, so it may go crazy and kill everyone, I don't know. <laughs> my left hand usually sits on my lap just, just watching, it's not a participant. But today she is starting to get a little dry over there so I just got just got some paint on the paintbrush. I'm gonna try and get this second coat done on the sky. Hopefully it's dry enough. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give it a try, even though I think it's still a little bit tacky. It's just taking forever. Just doing the second coat of this, the cerulean blue. Now what I will intentionally do is just, I just 
dip that in white. And I'm just going to do a couple of streaks of white. And it could be clouds, could be anything. I'm just spreading around some more white in the sky with my paintbrush here. Uh, just gonna, this is still wet so I don't want to touch it, but I'm just gonna peel this off. And then we have a beautiful straight line. Okay, for the water I have some light turquoise, phthalo turquoise, and titanium white. Now for the water I'm making this bit here lighter. Now if I wanted to keep this line at the back here completely straight, um, I should put painters tape on there, but my it's night time. It's not drying as quick as what I would hope it would. So if I put painters tape on it, it's going to um, probably peel off my cerulean blue. And I've just thrown both my tubes out. The bottom part of your ocean water here does not need to be straight because it, it's like a wave crashing upon the sand. It's not going to be straight, they're all curly and so it doesn't matter if you go over the sand a little bit. You just It's just a wave crashing on the sand so it really doesn't matter. I don't usually paint at night time anymore. I used to, but not anymore. There's a reason. I just get sloppy. I just want to turn this. There. <laughs> now I'm getting the white with the thing. If it's not already dry. Okay, it's starting to dry, so I'll just let it dry. She says as she does some more. <laughs> oh. I'm just going to let it dry and I'm going to go through and do another layer and I'm going to add a little bit of cerulean blue into the mix. You're probably going, whoa, something's different. Yeah, I've, I've got, I was following the reference picture but I just didn't like the way they had the sand swapped around. They had the light a bit towards us and the dark a bit down there so I decided to, I just didn't like it so all I did was went over this white bit here with the yellow ochre and then I made this bit here, the light part, that's all I did. I just didn't think you'd want to see me messing around with that again. Now, I'm going to do the ocean again. This is the phthalo turquoise light and this is the cerulean, cerulean blue. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a bit of the cerulean blue into this thalo turquoise. Oh, if it gets off my brush. Just so, um, because the sky is reflected in the water. And the colour of the sky is thalo. Oh, sorry. Cerulean. So, there's layer here. Oh, I've got to do that edge again. Oh, that was painful. And just quickly up the top, I'm going to get some ultramarine blue and just darken this top bit here. To the ultramarine I add white to blend it in and then this next part here I add a little bit of cerulean blue to the white to make it back to the normal sky colour but with the darker colour on top being the ultramarine. Okay now it's the next day and, and my inverter is going hell for leather because it's going to be a really, well it is a really hot day, it's already mid-morning so it's going to be loud. And I could move, but I'm too lazy, and I just, yeah. I've just made this bit here a little bit white using the fan brush. Same thing I did before. Now I have a palette knife, and I've just got titanium white on it. Hopefully I do. I think I grabbed it. <laughs> and I'm just going to... Just going to draw, you know, lines for the breaking waves. Not that there's going to be too many here because these ladies are sitting on a nice, a nice, lovely, quiet beach. But I thought I'd add just a couple of lines, you know, for the waves. Nothing too thought out, nothing... Um, particularly uh, advanced here, just some lines. Now back here you just get a dab the lines because the further back you go, the smaller they are, the skinnier they are, the closer together they are. You have to forgive me, I just mowed the lawn and I have pretty bad hay fever. I've been sneezing, my nose is running, but I just wanted to get, I just wanted to get this painting done. So I've got some stuff I have to do. Now like I said, nothing advanced about that. Nothing. Just going to add a couple more and then I'm going to do a couple of ships, boats, sailboats. Sailboats. I tend to forget this side because it's, it's hard for me to reach. The camera's in the way. Okay, I'm going to stop there, I'm going to stick my finger in titanium white, <laughs> don't do that, we can, 
Anyway, I have my, it's a teeny tiny little angled spot detailer. Just a little brush. I just like this one. Now I'm just going to draw a line. And on that line is going to be a triangle. I go above the horizon line. And then just paint it in. So that one's really far back, but this one's going to be even further back. So he's actually going to be smaller, but he's still going to be above the horizon line. Hopefully you can see that. Well, I'm going to do another one over here anyway. So. so I've got my white. I'm going to put him here. So he's going to be a little bit bigger than the other ones. Ah, that's all right. That can be way. And just do a triangle. And I'll do another layer. We'll do another layer of them. But that's basically all you're doing. <laughs> and so now I have titanium white and titanium white all over my finger and yellow ochre, yellow oxide, and my fan brush. And we're going to do the foam on the waves that are crashing. So you just want titanium white but it also has you know the sand mixed up in it so it's not completely white so something like that. Go on that um, side just a little bit to make some splashy splashes. Now while I had the white out I did another layer of the uh, little sailboats there. But you don't you don't need to see me do that, you saw how I did it the first time. Now for the next part of this wave this little splashing bit so it's kind of like a beach here the beach here is um i think it's called a tidal beach fraser island protects it so we don't get huge big surf we just get little piddly waves i have Payne's gray and my little little brush now the wave causes the wave causes a shadow on the sand where it, where it lands. So just follow where your wave, your splashing, goes. Can go anywhere, any which way. I think mine was up here, but it doesn't matter. Make a mistake, you just change where the wave was.
Now I've got my fan brush and titanium white with a little bit of the yellow ochre and I'm just going to add some more um, like fluffy waves just so it kind of goes a little bit over that dark line but you don't want it to go over the dark line if you know what I mean you want you just want to dab a couple of bits of white over it so it's not so dark I guess is what I'm trying to say but you don't want to cover it Okay, right about here, I'm going to do a ball, a beach ball. I'm just doing it in white now so that I can get the, so it's easier for me to paint it in later. the colors on it when it's dry. Now I have traced our lovely ladies in and we will finish our beach ball and her handbag. So I'm going to start with the easiest thing, skin tone light. If you want to see how I make my own skin tone I shall put an eye card and it will be uh, that way or that way, I think it's that way, it will be up there. Probably be up there two minutes after what I wanted up there, but I'll point again just in case it'll be up there. <laughs> so I have my skin tone light, have a round brush. So that's what it is. And I'm just going to do their skin, which, if they're sun baking like this in the Australian beach, it's not going to be pink, it's going to be red. Gonna get started with this lady's swimwear. I have Brilliant Magenta. You could use any colour you want. This is where you make it your own. Um, you could do purple, yellow, just try and do colours that aren't gonna disappear and like probably wouldn't do aqua or anything like that right here. Don't forget, this is just the base. And yes, we are painting over our beautiful ocean, but 
you put it there so you can paint over it. <laughs> no, you, you do it all so you, you're happy with how it looks and then you can put the other things where you want them. If that makes sense. I'm not going to put the top in until I've done her arms so I know where her arms are in relation to the top. Now moving on to the bottom half of this lady here, which isn't much. <laughs> so I've got some yellow because I kind of figured this lady likes to stand out. Now I'm just going to put white down first because yellow is so transparent and, and weak that I'm not, it's going to take me I don't know, 10, 15, 20 layers to get it in. So if I just mix a little bit of yellow with white to start with, and then I'll do probably one or two more layers on top of this, and it will be the yellow that I want. I kind of figured that she would want a bright coloured swimwear. So yellow just seemed appropriate for this lady, because she's bold. Everything I'm not. <laughs> she's bold and beautiful. I saw this picture, um, I got it off Adobe Stock, I think it is. They're, they're not free, but they do have some amazing pictures. So do Pixabay, Pixabay have some wonderful pictures. But when you go to Adobe stock, you'll just see the total difference in um, quality. Now we have, I might do purple. Ultramarine Violet I have here for this last lady. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add That's the ultramarine violet, uh, that one there. I'm going to add some white to it, just because I don't want it too dark. So I'm just making it the colour I want it. Kind of like a lavender. You can do different skin colour tones, so if you wanted to make these ladies African American or um, Indian or um, Asian, anything like that, or even if you want to make them alien, <laughs> um, you can make them burnt, where it... you can do anything you want. So what I'm doing now is just another layer of the skin tone light and that should hopefully be it for the skin tone light. We just need to add the um, shading in that. So just for a quick darkening of the skin tone colour, I've got some burnt sienna and I've just mixed it there. So this is just for the darker areas and then for the darker, darker areas we'll add more. So I'll start with this lady here. She's the easiest and the quickest. You can see what I'm doing. Yep. 
So she's going to have a bit of a shadow here. And a shadow under here from her hair. And this bit here is in shadow. And I'm just getting some of the normal skin tone just to go over it. Well, not go over it, but to blend it out. So now I'll just grab the darker part again and add the darker part. I haven't washed my brush. You see how it's it's turning darker and it's also blended at the same time. Just the way skin tones are is um, really fascinating to me. There's so many colours. I mean, right now I'm cheating and you, yeah, I'm cheating and using a, a store bought skin tone, but I do that just for these quick ones. So I'm just alternating between the skin tone light here and then the skin tone light and the burnt sienna there and then I'm just blending them together until I have it how I want it. So I want the outside a fair bit darker than the middle part of the back. But I also want it blended. So now I'll do the same on her arm here, it's got skin tone light and then the darker colour. And we will go through and draw a fine line of um, probably, well, I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet, a darker colour. <laughs> I think she's looking pretty fancy. Fix up this bit I don't like. This swim top needs to come right up to the top where her arms are because it goes over her arms and it was a bit low then so yeah. So I might quickly do another layer on I might quickly do another layer of her swimmers. So hers was the um, light purple, lilac, lavender, or make your own. She's going to have um, this bit here, it's going to be in shadow because she's sitting on it and there's no sun there. It's where the sun don't shine. So most of this outside area is going to be my brush, a darker purple. purple and blend it in and 
Tataka. And because the shape we're trying to achieve is circular, um, try and go in a circular motion. I did the first couple of ones just like a line, the first couple of dark purples like a line because I knew at the end here I was going to go over it going um, horizontal. And then it um, blends in and looks like a rounded lady bottom. But we also need to do the butt crack. Blend it out. Blend it out, blend it Now, it's going to be a little bit more dark purple. I'm using ultramarine violet and it's fairly dark. So what I'm going to do now is she has these beautiful creases that goes along here. And another one down here. And lighter colour. Oops. Well, we're going to do that one again. This is the darker purple here that I'm doing. And down here as well. And down here. I think she's looking pretty cool. <laughs> now on top of those um, like shadows, the, the creases that she has, is going to be a very light purple. So 
it's going to be mixed with white and her butt cheeks. And then just get the normal colour. And up here is going to be the lighter colour too because she's getting a little bit of sun on there. I'm going to give her another crease. There. Now, I'm going to do her hat yellow, so I'm going to make it, mix it with white, just to get that first layer on there. Alrighty, she is sitting on a green mat, so I'm using permanent green light. They're getting wet and they're sitting there with in the sun, happy. They don't care that they're getting wet because it's a hot day. Just watching the sailboats go by. Now I'm just going to add some white to that green just to make it lighter green. And while it's wet, just going to add these highlighty bits here. And see how because it's wet it's um, blending into the permanent the darker green that I had. And we'll get a little bit of Payne's Grey if I can find it. There it is. Just the teeniest, tiniest little bit, because right under her butt is going to be a shadow. You could use black if you wanted to.
for the hair on all these ladies, I'm going to do a variation of this one colour. It is um, one part raw sienna to one part burnt sienna. I'm just going to mix it together. Sorry for the noise. And that's going to be the main colour. Now you want to, oops, you want to make it lighter. We're going to add, um, you know, I'll show you. So this is the main colour, kind of like how we do skin tone. I'm just dabbing because this lady is going to have curls. So tight little curls. They're going to come out there. Go down a little bit. The gold leaf just flew past. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> Yeah, she's got some lovely little curls. We'll do some highlights. Just going to add a little bit of white. Do a quick, easy highlight. This is just that green I had for her mat, so the dark green. And then this side I'm going to do a red. So the red. Any red. I've just got brilliant red. I'm also going to just do another layer of that white on here. I'm going to add a little bit of Payne's Grey to it. I just did another layer on her hat there of the yellow and the white. Now I have some yellow oxide and I'm just going to do the shadows. And I'm doing this while the yellow paint is still wet. It's a windy day today. So I'm just going over the yellow and the yellow ox ochre to just blend them.
adding some Payne's Grey to the red just for the shadow down here and then just blend it up, clean your brush and get the red and just mix it in. Another shadowy bit here. Now I've got some red because this lady has a like a um, ribbon on her hat, and it goes around there. And then it flies out. I'm just going to get a bit of that hair colour that we made up and I'm just going to, because there's a fairly dark shadow here and here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of burnt umber to that hair colour to make a darker shade. So there's our hair colour there. there. And there's the burnt umber. Now doing our dabbing motion, it's just going to be darker here. Because the, sh the shade of the hat, shadow of the hat. So I want to miss Bikini Girl. We'll do her yellow again. darker skin tone which was the where are we the skin tone light and the burnt sienna so just mixing up some more of that because mine's almost dry we're gonna do her arms her dry before I put on her top. <laughs> so I'm going to do her hat in Brilliant Magenta which was her underwear. Just getting a little bit of white to add to that Brilliant Magenta just for this top part just to make it lighter. Just using uh, the hair colour, I'm going to do her hair and I'm just going to do her as like straggly, lots of, lots of strokes. Um, the darker parts, just add the burnt umber to it. So right here under the hat is going to be the darkest.
So I've just got the yellow and white. Try and go straight. I'm going to get these arm creases back in because they seem to have disappeared. Okay, it's a horrible colour to use on her uh, butt crease, but I'm going to use yellow ochre for the shadow of her butt. It kind of looks like um, baby poop. <laughs> now I've just got yellow again. of a butt shadow so I just got some black here and then I'm just going to get the blue again and go over it I got white I'm going to give this one a ribbon too Let's give her the uh, wrong paintbrush. Um, just giving her a second coat of brilliant magenta on her bottoms. Now the darker skin tone colour, her butt cheeks. Mainly this whole butt cheek is almost completely darker than the rest of her body because it's in the shadow I'll do this white on the other ladies too. It's just. Red and black 
this shadow that's here. Magenta again. So for her butt cheek, for the shadows on her swimwear, I'm going to use that ultramarine violet. I did another layer on her hat. So. So I'm going to alternate between the ultramarine violet and the magenta and just blend it in. Uh, the burnt umber added to the hair colour. Now just the normal hair colour, just to get some more, another layer in there. And now in white, just going to do her purse, or her handbag. Now they start thicker here and they go smaller, those um, lines there. This is a towel that's hanging out of her handbag. Just added some white to that blue. This is just a little bit of burnt sienna, just to make a shadow for the handbag. And the same for this ball. So there they are, our lovely ladies, either watching their husbands out here on the sailing boats or their kids or they're just relaxing with a bottle of wine. That's what we should draw, a bottle of wine. Anyway, what I did, I went around, as you see, I went around their um, swimwear with a black line and around their hat with a black line. I didn't go around much of hers because she didn't need it, but I went around the ball 
in black and also one around just the bottom edge of her handbag in black. So the hat, the swimwear, the wall and part of the handbag. Now, I really like that one. I might actually keep this one. I hope you enjoyed this. I, it went a little longer than what I thought but I enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.